Zach! Ma! Yes, ma. Am I supposed to go to work with a dirty car? Huh? Ma, I thought we'll use the normal go-to car that we use every day. She don't tell me what car to use. All right? They are all my cars. I bought them with my money. Do you understand me? Yes, ma'am. You're going to take off those clothes that you're wearing and clean this car now. Excuse me? Say that again? No, say it again! No, I do, I do not say anything. Fool. Clean this car right now! And be fast about it! I don't have all day. day. Becky, my office, now. You called me. You called me. Becky, what do I hate the most? Untidiness. Why then is there a dust on my desk? Ma? Are you deaf? I said, why is there dust on my desk? Will you clean this place this minute? Yes, ma. Come back here. Where's she going to? Out. is very, very, very big. Can you imagine? And I'm very sure he's going to leave this woman the same way he left his husband. Uh, mm. I don't think so. You know, the reason why he left Isabella was because she cheated. It's not because he fell out of love. But she apologized countless times. And didn't she also forgive him when he cheated with her younger sister? <laughs> well, God forgives. Men don't. Let her learn. See, 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 see. I told you, this is what she'll do. Wait a minute. This is what you two fools do oh. in my sitting room when I'm not around? Oh. Yes, sir. Shut up! Yes, sir. Just sit around and date in my couch and my living room? We're just, we're just watching a program, man. It's not like we did anything wrong. In your wretched father's house, I presume? Ma, you don't need to be insulted about it. We're just watching a program. It's not like we had any work to do. Besides, we're exhausted from today. Wow. The nerves. Well, need I remind you that this is my house. My house, my rules. Have I made myself clear? Get out of my sight. What nonsense.
said good evening mom i heard you the first time are you still at work <clears throat> no i'm having dinner do you want me to switch the video call i have been calling for two days now but you have neither answer nor return any of my calls i even sent you tons of messages on whatsapp but still no reply that's because i've been busy mom i've been extremely busy Um, Mom, uh, Senator Bakare is on the call. Please, can I speak to him and call you back? Don't end Bye, this Mom. Where is Zach? Ma, he's waiting by your car. Okay. <coughs> Ma, what is it? Um, <coughs> My grandma is very sick and she has been asking to see me for over a month now, so I was actually hoping if I could go see her over the weekend, please. No, you can't. No, please. Do you know how much I hate to repeat myself, right? I'm sorry, Ma. Get my bag.
Okay, no problem. Hello. Hi, this it. Thank you. Um, <sighs> sorry, do I know you? You look more beautiful in corporate attires. Anyways. Nexon Fitness Center. Oh, yes, that's where I work out every morning. Yeah, but I haven't. Really? You mean you have never noticed me? If I have, I wouldn't have asked. It's fine, it's fine. No offense taken. Oshomole. The name is Oshomole. Mark or Shomale? <sighs> CEO Marvel Construction. Oh. Okay. I am the youngest serving member of my state's House of Assembly. And, um,. I also deal on um, interior design and real estate. Oh, nice to meet you, Mr. Oshomore. Mm -hmm. How may I be of service? A date. Yes, go on a date with me and you'll be of great service. I should go on a date with you. <sighs> yes, Simi. You see, I like you, Simi. And I want to make you my girl. Who knows? It might end up in the altar. So just pick your time and date. <laughs> what do you say? you get your sorry, arrogant ass off my chair and get out of my office and never return. Sorry? I hate to repeat myself, Mr. Oshomole, right? What do you think you are? Strolling into my office this Beautiful morning with your cheap, faded Ankara attire and a bulky perfume to ask me to go on a date with you. As if that wasn't enough insult. You make it look like you're doing me a favor. Who the actual hell do you think you are? Get your sorry ass out of my chair and get out of my office this minute before I call the security to throw you out. Get up and get out. Get out. You must know the perfume is F U by C K. Get out! Get out of my office!
Hey Stella, how far now? Good. I didn't hear you guys driving. Stella, why are you crying? Me? Crying. I'm not crying. So tears are just rolling down your face or what? Tears. Oh, 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 okay. It must be the onions I sliced. CB doesn't eat onions. They are forbidden in this house. Come on now, what's going on? You know you can't talk to me. It's, it's my dad. She wouldn't let me go see my sick grandma. Didn't you travel two weeks ago when we went to our career? I did not. She asked me to stay back and look after the house. <sighs> this woman. Didn't you tell her that your grandma is sick and asked to see you? I did. Talk to you about Stella. I'm listening. I I saw her a while back crying because she wasn't able to see her sick grandma. How is that your business? Ma, Stella is the only family that woman has left. It would not be fair or nice if she dies and she doesn't get to, to see at least one family member. I just feel you should allow her travel back so she can at least see the woman before anything happens. You know, Zach, you have really grown some balls. That you now walk up to me and vomit nonsense from your mouth. Stupid grammar you learned in school that you haven't been able to use to secure yourself something reasonable in life until I gave you a job. You're in my house, eating my food, and then you come to advise me, come to tell me how to run my home? Are you silly? Get out. Leave my presence. Did you watch that last episode? What Salvador did to Isabella? That wicked one. I swear I could not believe you break up with her. So you went to report me to this network, but I turned down your request to travel. No, ma, she didn't send me. I wasn't talking to you. No, ma, I didn't. Shut up. It's like both of you are beginning to overstep your boundaries in this house. And I shall tame you immediately. I'm sorry, ma. Sorry for yourself. You're not to leave this house for any reason except you're going to the market. Have I made myself clear? Yes, ma. If you disobey me, I will sack you until payment. Hey. Ma. Give me my I bag. I will just agree. You know better not to. Give me my bag. Stella, baby. Ah, you're back. Yeah. Okay, so, how's work today? Uh, aside from your horrible boss, every other thing was fine. Come on. She's not horrible. How do you still defend her, despite how she treats you? Madame Simi is not a bad person. 
Oh, anyways, I came to apologize for earlier. I know what I said made things hard for you. Come on, sir. You shouldn't be. I should rather be thankful for speaking on my behalf. Come on, sir. You're a good man. All right. It is only a phase, okay? Everything will get better. Okay. So, yeah. are we eating? Nah, I wanted to come and talk to you first. Okay, I'm fine. You can go and eat now. Go. All right now. Thank you. Okay. Oh, God. This piece of food is very sweet. I enjoyed myself. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Serious. I had to come because I'm tired of mom disturbance. I don't know why she's disturbing you about my own life issues. Exactly my point. I told her the last time. You're my elder sister, not my younger sister. Mm. So she should have this conversation directly with you, not with me. Well, she can say anything she likes, but it won't change anything. Mm. Oh, sis. Just try and give it a thought. It's been four years since Junior. Dara. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Well, she's planning to give you a surprise visit since she's not been picking her calls. I just decided to give you a heads up. God, I don't know that woman's problem again. Then do something about it. Like what? Get a fiance. From Balogu Market, Ali. <laughs> see, it's really Balogu. <laughs> okay, see. How about you get any cute guy? Maybe your friend that is very cute. So the guy can ask as a fiance for this period of time that she'll be here. You're kidding me, right? No, I'm not. Make sure you get a cute guy. You know our obsession with cute guys, though. God, this is insane. Sis, do you prefer this insanity or mom's trouble? Okay. I thought as much. Just get a cute guy. Hmm. Well. You've made me sleep in your house, Shao. But just know that this clothes is not coming back to you. I've inherited it too. He inherits all my clothes. <laughs> my, that's the of being my I glasses. know. Good morning, ma. Morning. Good morning. Sis. Who's that? Done? Who's that cute dude? My driver. Your driver? Yeah. Right. Sis, that guy is cute. He is. You have what you are looking for exactly in your house. How? He's cute. Ha! I'm not sick. It says, Mom is going to like this guy, definitely. Look, this guy is so hot. Dara, can we get going? Please. She can't listen to me, no? Come, come, let's go. Your driver. Your He's friend. going to drive me. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> Are we ready to leave now, Ma? Yes, we are. <clears throat> A man is asking to see you. Does he have an appointment? No, ma'am. So why are you bothering me with it? He said to tell you that he's from your sister, ma'am. Dana? Yes, ma'am. Send it. Okay, ma'am. Thank you, sister. You said Dara sent you? Yeah. We worship together. Oh, I see. Yesterday I mentioned to her of my intention to settle down. And she never stopped talking of her pretty elder sister. And I figured out she actually wanted us to meet. I don't think so. Maybe you misunderstood her. Did I? She told me you are very single and searching and she dropped your home and office address. Mr. Kainde. Bro brother Kainde. Yes, 
I am single, but certainly not certain. Sister Simi, for someone other than Dara, it doesn't seem so from my point of view. Well, how do you perceive it? It's inconsequential to me. See, I understand maybe my approach might not be appropriate or the way you want it to uh, Mr. Mr. Kande, I was in the middle of something when you walked in. Thanks for your time. But I won't stop talking to the Holy Spirit to minister love to your spirit so that you will see things that I'm seeing in it. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you for your time once more. Yeah. Be good. Dara, what is this? No, you need... Welcome, Mom. Mm -hmm. What did you cook? Jollof, uh, plantain and fish, Mom. No salad? It's available, Mom. Okay. Um, tell Zach to see me once he's done eating. Okay, Mom. Come in. Well, Stella said uh, you asked to see me. Please sit. Ma, you said what? Are you deaf? I said sit. Sit down. My mom has been on my neck to get married for years now. She's coming next week. I... I want her stay to be a happy one. So I intend to, you know, show her a husband, or at least a fiancé. Congratulations, Ma. That's where you come in. Eh? I want you to act as my fiancé. For the period of time she'll be here. I, I will change your clothes. At least you can look the part. Uh, I'm sorry, Ma, but that's not part of my job description. I can't do it. I know. I know it's not part of your job description. 
but I'll pay you. I'll pay you 50,000 Naira for every day that you act. No, I'm sorry, but I still can't do it. If there's nothing left, then I would like to retire back to my post now. And you can leave. Leave. Duty. Don't worry. Still have to work too hard. Let me do it tonight. <laughs> ah, you've tried. Thank you so much. No problem. Good night. Do it. Do what? Play your fiance, but on one condition. Which is? Stella. You will allow her to see her grandma the period your mom is here. Why would I want to do that? Who will do the house jobs? Well, you and I will do it. I mean, if you want to sell a convincing line, then. It's only normal that a modern couple should do the chores together. Deal. Let, let me help you with your back. You can go see your grandmother next tomorrow. Ma? Did I stutter? Sorry. I said you can go see your grandmother. But you better don't unpack while you're there because I'll be calling you to come back anytime. Thank you, Ma. Thank you very much, Ma. God bless you, Ma. Mm, don't God thank me. You. Go thank your useless boyfriend driver. Zach? Mm -mm. See me? Get out. Sorry, ma. What is it? Okay, okay. Mm. Madam just asked me to go see Grandma. <laughs> That's good now. I'm happy for you. Thank you, Zach. Thank you. Uh, for what? Uh, doing this for me, of course. I don't know what you're talking about. Though. I, I didn't do anything. Ah, uh, see, Madam told me to go and thank you. Hmm? And there's no way she would have done that on her own. Hmm? 
<laughs> it's fine. I, I go go and see your grandma. That's it's fine. And see, I don't know what you did, but I just want you to know that I'll always be grateful for this. Yeah. Trust me. It's fine. It's fine. Go go and see your grandma. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. Thank you. It's okay, Stella. <laughs> Thank you. Please let me help you. No, no, no. I'll help myself. Okay. What did you say is wrong with your grandmother? Diabetes. Yeah. And she's been bad limited for some years now. Sorry about that. Thank you, Mom. And thank you for letting me go see her. You already know who to thank for that. Ma, you still have the right to say I shouldn't go, but you didn't, so I'm very grateful. I'll give you 100,000 Naira to buy medication for your grandma. Ma, thank you. Thank you very much. God bless you. Thank you, Ma. Thank you. request to travel, so yeah, I didn't argue. You shouldn't argue, just as I say. What? Why did you agree to do it? <coughs> hmm? Agreeing to be her fiance just so I can go see my grandma. You needed to go and see your grandma. And she needed someone to play her fiance, so it's a win win. Everybody's happy. What about you? What do you want? I want everybody to be happy. That's what I want. Oh, thank you very much. God will give you that which you want. Zach. No problem. You're welcome. Mm. Anyways, is, is the food ready? Mm. Foodie. <laughs> well, it's ready. Really? And hey, hey, those clothes look real good on you. For real? I must confess. Mm. Uh, <laughs> thank you. I find my mind. Thanks, Jerry. No, let's go now. Wait, let's let me go. let me just finish. Let me, I'm almost done. I'm almost done. Just remember this small one. Okay. Mm.
Give me big meat, oh. to keep your phone close because the moment she comes you're back yes um, I will go and drop out of the park okay but you should change into something decent in case she comes before you return all right mm -hmm. just wait for me Who? My son-in-law. You. How did you know about him? I mean, it was supposed to be a surprise. There is no surprise when it comes to your mom. So where is he? Oh, Dara. Uh, where is he? Um, he he went to get something. Call him. Tell him his mother-in-law wants to see him. Um, mom, I am not going anywhere. Okay. I'm waiting. Do you mind if I, <gasps> you know? Yes, we propose already. Yes, for me. Oh my God. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Oh Thank you. This is so beautiful. It is, right? Where did he get this? How did you do it? Like, did you record it? I, I want to see the video. Yes. Um, because I, I will personally post it on all my social media handles. Mom? In fact, I will pay the bloggers to post my family's success. Oh, of course. Get the video. Uh, I yeah, want to see get it. my phone then. Hurry up. Okay, okay. <laughs> oh, see me. I'm proud of you, my daughter. Oh, he has even proposed. Oh, thank you for answering my prayer. See me. Why are you taking too long with the phone? See me. Hey, hello, sis. What? Sis, see, I had to give her something so she will stay off my back. Wait, how did she react when she saw him? Happy, right? Oh, okay, don't worry, don't worry, sis. She's going to like him. She doesn't have any other option. All right. Bye. Oh, welcome, ma. Oh, you don't do that. <sighs> oh, my God, it's so cute. <laughs> Good afternoon, ma. Don't call me, ma. You can call me Iyabo. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, Simi didn't tell me that you were around. Oh, that's because she didn't know I was coming. Oh, I see. All right. So you are the lucky hunk of a guy <laughs> that successfully got in the golden prize. Truly, I am. I am. <laughs> and I've heard so much about you. I've been itching to meet you. Ah, Ma, sorry, Yabo. I must say, you are truly so beautiful. You're the most beautiful of them all. <laughs> <laughs> How I wish Simi was here to hear you talk. <laughs> you know, I have told them repeatedly, fine, they look like me and they are beautiful but none of them is as beautiful as I am. Oh, very true. <laughs> <laughs> have you gotten anything to eat with your uh, No, I went to the kitchen to get okay, some just, wine. Just have your, let me get you something light, okay? 
Please make yourself at home. Please, I'll be right back. <laughs> hey, see me, see me, my daughter. This is a perfect cash. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Thank God you're here. Come on, <laughs> listen to what your husband is Hey, babe. Hey. <laughs> yeah. Ah. Kissing couples are loving couples. <laughs> <laughs> that is one beautiful thing I have missed from my late husband. Anyways, he was saying that I am more beautiful than you and that. Okay, he said that? Yes. Ah, well, he should marry you then. <laughs> that sounds like trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Forget me. I wanted to mention my. Sorry, uh, yeah. Uh, you look so. You keep making mistakes. I'm I so sorry. Yeah. I'm so sorry. Forgive me, Mama. <laughs> <laughs> but I was saying, you you look so stunning. Your fashion style, your accessories. You don't even look your age. Really? I can't, I can't believe you have two kids. <laughs> Honestly, it's mind boggling. It's the Lord's doing. <laughs> oh, yeah, boy. <laughs> Yeah, bo. Is it my mother you're calling by her name? Um, sweetie, I actually told him to call me Yabo. All right. So, um, where are you from? Um, I'm from Benway State. So you're Thibi? How did you know? Um, <laughs> years back, uh, I have. I had I once had a boyfriend that is a thief. Really? Yes. Wow. I've actually been in Benin before. That's so interesting. Benin men are usually very handsome. <laughs> that one you're right. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um so um Sumi told me you're into real estate. Oh, yes, I am. Yeah, he is. Um, what about your family? Um, my dad was a teacher, and my mom was a petty trader. Oh, that's nice. Such a humble young man. <laughs> yeah, got a great life for yourself. Thank you. Thank you, Yabba. Yeah, my daughter, <laughs> this is a very handsome man. This is the kind of man. <laughs> Body that is a woman is looking for. Um, Mama, um, how, how about Auntie Bisola? Is she okay? Is she still, is she still in her marriage or what? What, 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 what is she up to? That one. My daughter, forget that one. Let's discuss things that are alive, not dead stories. Right, you want to right. listen to uh, how about her sister, the one in, in New York? Is, is she, is she still studying? She has finally gone to bed. Yep. I see you're good at this. I'm good at everything I do. Oh, perhaps this is not your first time. Good night. Where are you going to? To the ground. Zach. Oh, Ma. Sorry. Yeah, boy, you haven't gone to bed? Hmm. 
can't sleep. I, I hope there's no problem. Is everything all right? My son, seeing you and my daughter, how happy you are, reminds me of him. If I may ask, what happened to him? Please, let's sit down. son, his family forced him into depression. They were totally on his neck about getting a male child. Ever since we had Simi and Dara, my husband refused to have a second wife because he loved and adored us so much. And then when the depression was so immense, my husband switched into alcohol. My husband would drink and drink and drink. On this fateful day, he got so drunk that he had a terrible accident that led him into coma for six good months. Mm. We tried all we could to save him, but he gave up the ghost. I'm so sorry about that. It's fine, my son. It's fine. Um, Simi will be sleeping by now, right? Oh, yes. Besides, I should even head back to the room before she starts looking for me. Yes, you should, my son. Right. Um, let me even quickly get the water that brought me downstairs. Oh, okay, ma. Good night, my son. Good night, Yabo. I'm fine. Zach. Zach. Oh, yeah, well, good morning. Morning, my son. I hope son. you were able to get some sleep. Mm, I managed. Why are you the one cleaning the house? Where is the maid? Oh, uh, madam, and we gave her an off because she had to see her ailing grandmother. 
Oh, and where is Simi, my daughter? Uh, Simi is still in bed. She had a long night. A long night, you say? Young man, please take it easy with my daughter. <laughs> yeah, boy. <laughs> I'm trying my best. <laughs> okay. Since there is no maid, let me go and fix breakfast. Oh, all right, all right. Well done, eh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, boy. <laughs> My son, thank you very much. For what? For tolerating my daughter, of course. Look, I know how much of a handful she can be. My daughter can be very stubborn and authoritative. But my son, behind all of this is a very beautiful, caring young lady who needs to be loved and supported. From the look of things, you have been trying because of late, she has been so excited. Thank you, thank you so much, my son. Oh yeah, but isn't that what I'm supposed to do? love, tolerate, and support my woman. How? If every man out there will think like you, we will have less divorce cases. <laughs> Sincerely, once again, thank you so ah, much. Yeah, but stop now. Nah, uh -uh. Please, please, enough of the things. Continue that story. I need to know everything <laughs> about Simi. <laughs> But I wouldn't answer because, of course, I thought it was another of his numerous demands. I got back home. I got back home that night to see my son on the floor. Emotionless. With, with back of it, Helen next to him. When my son was dying. I'm calling the only person he has to help him. But I ignored his calls. I let him die. Come on. Oh. I let my son die. Ha <laughs> 
Ah. See, that first game, that first game, I won't lie. You, you don't understand. But you no can't be smarter than me. What have I been beating, guys? A lot. My star girl, a whole lot. Hmm. I am beating Zach here, right in front of his wife. Zach, come on now. Look for my hand. Ah, look for my hand. The only reason why I'm allowing Yabo to win is because I don't want to make my mother-in-law sad. Mm. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Okay, let's go again. Don't let her win. Are you ready? Yes. A winner what is a winner. I'm ready. <laughs> Babe. Yeah. What do you say? Winner or something like Okay, now. Yeah, well. I hope you don't hit me after this shot. Let's go. I love now the sound of that voice. I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> win, mommy. Exactly what I said. Yes. Yes. <laughs> oh my God, please don't get me started. Do not get me started. I know. We've been back of back and forth on it, but you know, we're making progress. Hey sis. Hey. Can I speak to you later? My sister just walked in. Hey. Yeah, okay. <laughs> hey, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? Yeah. I've never seen you this happy since junior. Uh, Do you love him? Love who? Zach. Oh, come on, Dara. I'm not a cougar. Even if I were to be one, he's my driver. What? Yes. Well, please, I love those smiles on your face. Like, do you know how beautiful you look? Please, please don't take it out. If it makes you smile, love him, please. But I just said I don't love him. Okay, fine. Oh God! I'm a man in the Yeah, anything for your knees and your nephew? Yes, there's always something for those two, Tom and Jerry. Yeah, let me wrap this up and. Oh, Tom and Jerry is good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, let me just turn this off. Wow, you look so good. Please, don't see those smiles again. Tara. Please kiss my lips. Bye. <laughs> It's come job. So you can leave with it, right? right? Okay. I've never seen this happen before. Oh, stop oh. it. Stop. Don't tell me the secret. This girl. <laughs> You're not serious, Dara. <laughs> big. I know. <laughs> and don't forget what I have told you. You don't forget. It. <laughs> and if you need anything, don't hesitate to call me. Okay. Yeah, boys, they know for your peace. <laughs> Let's go before you miss your flight. Yes, you this one. I'm not with you of that one. Let me let me get that. Okay. <laughs> I'm ready to miss you, my baby. <laughs> Already. Yes, Madam called last night and asked that I resume work first thing this morning. 
Wow. This woman won't get off your back, would she? Oh, come on. Ah, for real? Mm. You know I clean up nice now. <laughs> Where is she? In her room. In her room. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. I beg, I hope you're cooking something because I'm tired of eating rubbish. Funny enough, I'm making your favorite. Ah, I trust <laughs> you. <laughs> well, now, jump in. I'll meet you inside. Yes, that's exactly what I was talking about. I told you. No, but they'll bring it tomorrow. I promise you. I promise you. Tomorrow it will be in your yard. Yes. You mean the Zeno? Yes, the Zeno company, the, they want to ship it in from Dubai. Yes. Over 150 million naira. That's what we are talking about right now. Yes, that's exactly what we are talking about. I'll get you the files. I have, I have all the files here. I'll get it for you. Come in. Our business is done, ma'am. And you can keep the codes. I've also sent 500,000 euros to your account. But we had an understanding, ma'am. We were meant to let Stella go see her grandma and play the role of a fiancé. We both held up the ends of our bargain, so the money's not needed. You know you don't have to be this stubborn, Zach. I'm not you can... trying to be stubborn. I'm trying to be professional. You can send me your account number and I'll make you a phone. Like I said, you can keep it, okay? And you can also keep the clothes. I don't have needs for them. Well, neither do I. Scary. Scary lot of attitude. going to get this contract. I did, Joanna. But that was before Madoka came into the fixture. What does this involvement have to do with our agreement? What are you talking about? I did everything you asked of me. Madoka is the biggest contractor in the country. And he has opened me twice. More than what you offered me, Mana. Oh, so this is about the money? Everything is about money. Everything is about money. And that is why you even want to do the quantum to yourself. Okay, so what happens to the money I sent to you? Please, madam, I'm very, very busy. What? what? I have to go. What are you? Is... Get out. No, sir. Yes, sir. I did everything he asked me to do. In fact, I literally took a loan from my bank to facilitate everything concerning this contract. So we have invested everything in this contract and we are still expecting payment from the Spanish government. No, sir. So I will be stuck if Green Acre doesn't award this contract to my company. We are talking bankrupt here. Sir? Hello?
handsome. Ah, thank you. Not ready to honor my date yet. <laughs> I'm still thinking about it. Oh, really? Oh, how's your boss? Is she still? Still in the office. Oh, okay. You know, the green hair car contract is really, really eating her home. That's why. Oh, mm -hmm. who's in charge of the contract? He's the manager, Alhaji Danusa. Oh, okay. All right. So, how about my dates? <laughs> when I'm ready, I'll let you know, okay? Okay, I will be expectant. All right. And I'll catch you around. do have a wonderful weekend. You too. Bye. Mm. Take it easy. Mm. Just like that? I think it's pressure. Pressure? Apparently there's this project that she's pursuing and the contractor already promised her that he was going to get everything done. But it's slipping out of her fingers after she already paid the contractor money and he assured her that he would get it done. Apparently she even took a loan to pay him and now everything is just making her go crazy. That's so terrible of the contractor. My dear, that's Nigerian business for you. <laughs> so, how is she now? She's not doing good, but she'll get better. Yeah. I think the toast is ready. Yeah. Sorry. 
still need to eat more. Mm -mm. No, you have to. Please. This dress is good, man. Yawa. I will. You can turn your Abba. neck. Abba. I will blow your brains out. Please don't kill me. Don't kill me. What do you want? I get come for money. Everything you want take. Oh, shut up. I'm someone who hates cheating. I don't have much time, so I'm going to go straight to the point. Five years ago, a young girl was constantly abused by a man she referred to as father because he was married to her mother. She got pregnant and refused to abort it. In fear, the man forced her to pin it on an innocent boy who couldn't stand it, so he committed suicide. This young girl and her four years old daughter are now living in Aja, and she's ready to make the man pay for what he did to her by telling the world her story. So, Alaji, you will call Simi in the morning and tell her that she has the contract she paid you for. And for trying to swindle her, you will return the initial payment she made. Failure to do this, and Rukayat will be on every newspaper and station. You have six children and two wives. I'm sure you don't want to lose them. I don't want to lose them. Wallahi, I was only playing though. I was only playing though. She got the contract, man. She will do the contract, I, 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 I swear. But everything you believe in, I swear with my life. I swear she will do the contract. But lie, I'm a very good person. I was only joking. I was only joking with my children. But lie, leave my children, they don't do anything. But lie, she got any money, she don't carry the contract for her. How about don't kill me, man? Don't kill me, man. Don't kill me, man. Junior, 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 It's fine. Thank you for <clears throat> yesterday. Don't mention it. Besides, today promises to be very bright. Right. I'll, I'll take my leave now. Okay. Just 
get yourself, you know what? Leave the house, go have fun, get fresh air, do whatever you want with your life because today is a bright and beautiful day. Take it, take it, take it, take it. Oh my God! No! This is, this is happening for real. Today is bright, is bright and fair. Oh, happy day. Day of joy. Oh, happy day of joy. Right is right and fair. Oh, happy day. A day of joy. The day is bright, is bright and fair. Oh, happy day of joy. <laughs> Good morning, Zach. Good morning, ma. Um, when you're done with the car, I want you to go dress into something decent. We're going out. We're going out? Going out? Yes, I'm taking you out. <laughs> because today promises to be very bright. That's what you said, right? <laughs> yes, ma. Okay, so when you're done with the car, go change into something nice. We're going out. <laughs> okay, ma. <laughs> the day is bright. Hey, it's bright up. She gave you a day up to. No, she said that we're going out. Without a uniform. I need to see you. No, but she was in a good mood. I don't know. She felt very excited. Maybe she got the contract. I mean, that's a possibility. Well, I'll tell her the case. I have to do it. She changes her mind. Alright, now bring back this to me. You look good, by the way. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, now later. There was love in my face. I couldn't see it. I couldn't see it. Wow, you look amazing. Thank you. She looked good too. Thank you. Yeah, I think we should use the SUV. I want you The SUV, please. Let me get a key. I'm just glad you're happy. Okay. Why are you even always the left house? You just want to stay happy. Well, yeah. Isn't that what Chris said you do? So I went to meet this guy. We've been talking online for over a year now, but we haven't had time to meet. Wait, you 
You mean you went to his house? No. Ha. <sighs> we sat out at a garden. <sighs> Thank God. Hey, 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 wait, wait. Are you trying to play big brother duties here? <laughs> of course not. You know you're my baby sister. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I beg, I beg. Give me the gist. Okay, 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 okay. All right, all right. So he said he would like to know me better. He? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and also asked if he could visit me occasionally. And then I was really tempted to say yes. Because I really liked him too. Mm -hmm. But then I now remember the person I work for. <laughs> <laughs> Treats Madame herself. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, you mm -hmm. want that fire? You. <laughs> Hold on. Um, hello, ma. Come to my room now. Okay, I'll be up shortly. She said I should come to her room. Let me go and see her. Okay. <laughs> What is this? My resignation letter. Your what? Resignation letter. I know I'm supposed to give you a month's notice. If not, I forfeit my salary. So I'll forfeit my salary. I sincerely hope you find someone better or as good as me. It was a pleasure working with you. Besides, I didn't want to raise your hopes up and then just disappoint you when I don't get the job. Well, I'm happy for you that at last you've gotten a well-deserving job. But at the same time, I'm very sad because you're going to leave me after getting so much attached to you. Stella, don't worry, I'll still come around to see you now. Besides, the apartment they gave me is not far from here, it's just on that other street ahead. So whenever Madame Street gives you an off, you can always come and see me now. Okay. I'm going to miss you so much. <laughs> My sister, I'm going to miss you too. Especially that you're your love. Ah! After you naive, you sabi. So freedom at last. That is tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Big Seeds, how far? 
Yeah. Yeah. He's leaving. Who is leaving? Let me guess. Your fake fiance. Yes. He just turned in his resignation later. Alright. You get another driver then. That's the thing. He's been so diligent with his job. I doubt if I will get another driver like him. Let's go. I'm not fine. I missed you so much. <laughs> I miss you too, my dear. Don't worry, I'll come and see you soon. I hope you're eating well. Uh, I'm managing. Don't worry. Just tell me when you're coming over so I can prepare plenty soup and stew down for you to carry along and be eating, yeah? Madame is fine, although she's been acting so bad lately and she hardly touches her food and always locked up in her room when she returns. Okay, make sure you eat. Hmm? Okay, bye. Zach! Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hey, I'm happy Stella. to see you. Wait, let me bring your soup.
can't you see your friend? Yes. Mm -hmm. How was work? Oh, work was fine. Make yourself comfortable. Okay. Yes. Hold on. Yes. Okay, let me keep it. Hey. Oh, wait. Let me bring your pepper chicken. You will like it. <laughs> Chidi was the only man I ever loved. He taught me everything I knew. We fell in love and dated from my second year in university till I graduated. My mom, my mom never supported the relationship for obvious reasons. She was from a very poor background. But I was adamant because I really, really loved him. I fell pregnant and I wouldn't abort it. So my mom decided to set us up. He gave Chidi 20 million naira to start a business and, and bought us a house in Abuja. We moved in together. You know, as it was tradition that we would get married after I put to bed. Two months into staying with Chidi. One morning, Chidi left. I called his phones. They were all switched off. I looked for Chidi everywhere he could be. I didn't find him. Weeks later, some real estate company came to my house and said Chidi has already sold the house to them. He didn't just leave me. He left me stranded. He took everything my mother gave us. I was shattered. I fell into depression. Months later, a junior came. Junior gave me a reason to leave again. That was when I decided to take the family business, take it over from my mother. But then, Junior left. So 
sorry about that. From the first day I saw you, I fell in love with you. Then when I saw the way you treated people, the way you treated your workers, I had to swallow all of it. But then as time went by, I got to know that you're not really a bad person. But the situations that you went through just made you who you were. Why didn't you ever say anything? How could I? Would you still keep me in employment? I mean, Simi, you slapped me like twice. If I remember correctly. Sorry about that. Will apology not accepted? Why? Sorry. I'm sorry. Please. Please. On one condition. Which is? Marry me. Zach. I'm not a child. I'm not here to do boyfriend and girlfriend. I want to settle down and I know what I want and who I want and what I want is you. Unless you're not sure yourself, then I totally understand. I can be handful, you know. Are you telling me? I experienced it firsthand. And Iabo even confirmed it. Mm. You have to stop <laughs> calling my mother by her first name. Why? It sounds cool. Well, it's my condition for marrying. Really? Well, in that case, I guess I'm going to be single because I'm always going to call her Yabo. What? <laughs> God, that's just silly. See me at the I love you. I love you too. Zach. Torina. This is the first time you're saying my name. Sounds good coming from your mouth. <laughs> Personally, choose the color of her shade. <laughs> 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 My daughter is winning you. No, ma. Ah, yeah, but wait, wait. <laughs> wait, wait. Wait, I just won 1,500. Why? You no, know, it's 200 you're meant to collect. It's not ah, 1,500. Ah. Are you cheating me? No, no, see, collect 200 naira salary. Uh, give me the 200 first, remaining yeah. 1,300. If you don't give me, I will not continue playing. <laughs> yeah, ah. but that's not the really game. Ah. Jack! Are you doing money for me, or? <laughs> money is... Of course. <laughs> uh -uh. Dara. Ma? Who are you supporting? My brother-in-law, of course. Nasu! Na <laughs> hey, look at this one. Please give me my 1,300. Yeah, it's 200, it's 200. You have to continue. Beautiful you look. Yes. I know. 
know, I know. Beautiful kid. Just a sister now. Hey.